Okay. Oh, I came and I said, I don't even want to see the money. Um, since the 18th, my goal has been to keep Mahaka moving forward productively. A uh, point of order, Catherine. One second. Um, Just one second. One, one second. One second. We're going to address. Um, Just one second. We will, we will move forward and then we will address the things as they come up. Um, so since August 18th, my goal has been to keep Mahaka moving forward productively to the best of my ability. Um, it's been an extremely challenging task. Um, three years ago, when I agreed to take on the role as president, the obvious need, um, the obvious need was to transform Mahaka from a mom and pop to a singularly led, uh, singularly led organization to a membership led organization where decisions and activities are transparent and members are informed and get to be a significant part of the decision-making process. Um, this has been my explicitly known intention from the beginning. We diligently worked to create systems that could make this possible and we did that to sustain communications and growth and with the last presidential election, a point of last presidential appointment um, intended to be the last appointment, we were on track with that transition. Despite the last three months of events, this election and new board places us back in the position to do what is best for the membership, and that is to focus on them and to serve them well. Um, as the chair of the election committee, I acknowledge that some concerns have been raised and those will be addressed. None merit to stop Mahaka from moving forward with the newly elected board. In fact, um, as again, as stated in August, we can't afford to not move forward. Too much time has already been wasted. To that end, I want to acknowledge the election committee and thank them for their time, their efforts, their commitment to the process. It was a long, arduous process that was grounded in transparency and truth. Grounded in transparency and truth. Everything that the election committee has done has been recorded and is available, you know, to only those who have the right to see them. And that's no one that is a part of membership and or a part of the board. Next, I wanna thank all those who participated in the election and ran for office and those who voted and congratulate and welcome the new board, Joy Creel, Irene Amitrano, Robin MD, members at large, Carol Berger, secretary, Kristen Sankey as treasurer and Christopher DeBoer as president. If we choose to move forward as a whole, we can begin to make up for the tremendous loss of three months and provide our membership with the service that they signed on for and deserve. I have one last statement and this may seem odd, but this fits right for me. Sometimes when you are feeling important, sometimes when your ego's in bloom, sometimes when you take it for granted, you're the best qualified in the room. Sometimes when you feel that you're going would leave an unfillable hole, just follow this simple instruction and see how it humbles your soul. Take a bucket and fill it with water, put your hand in it up to the wrist, pull it out, and the hole that's remaining is a measure of how you'll be missed. You may splash all you please when you enter. You can stir up the water galore, but stop and you'll find in a minute that it looks quite the same as before. The moral of this quaint example is do the best you can, be proud of yourself, but remember there is no indispensable man. All of us are replaceable, every last one of us, and that is as it should be. That is as it should be. And with that, I turn it over to the membership elected president, Christopher DeBoer. Thank you, Dr. James. I appreciate your time. Point of order. <clears throat> Point so, of I order. Uh, this group cannot continue to legitimately do business under the challenge made on October 12th. Dr. Schaefer, I'm going to address your, your complaint.
complaint right now. That's the first point of business. I agree with you. So I want to address the, the challenge brought up. You mentioned it uh, in regards to the Nonprofit Corporations Act. Um, we've consulted with counsel, and they indicated the provision of the law that you referenced in there is in reference to annual meetings of membership of stock basis nonprofits or membership basis nonprofits. Uh, Mahaka is a directorship basis nonprofit. That provision does not reference directors, uh, which is the language defined in the law for members of a board. So we can continue to consult counsel to make sure that that's, that is the understanding to make sure that we move forward on that. But I don't think that we can afford to allow the association to be paralyzed in that time. This is a very critical point. So thank you. And we'll now move on with the meeting. Now, the first thing I'd like to do is I move to amend the agenda to remove the executive director's report from the agenda. Is there a second? I second. This motion requires a two thirds majority. So first I would like to call for the affirmative votes for this motion. Yes, I, yes. I also agree with that motion. I vote yay. So that puts us at five votes for yay. Can I have the nays to that motion? Kristen. I'm to sorry. Clarify, to clarify, Kristen, are you voting yay or nay on that motion? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yay. I don't see any indications of any nay votes. So that motion passes five to zero. Would the secretary count out the uh, votes for that? Would she indicate all the members of the board who voted for that motion? Yes, to remove, to amend the agenda, to remove the executive director's report from the agenda, the following are the yes votes. Carol Berger, Kristen Sankey, Chris DeBoer, Joy Creel, and Catherine James. The motion is passed. All right. Um, as first part of new business, uh, there have been challenges brought to the election by Dr. Schaefer, Dr. Amitrano, and Dr. MD. We recognize your challenges to the election. The bylaws do not provide any direction how to address these challenges. And so we must resolve them through the elected board of directors. I'm motioning to create an elections investigation committee that will review the complaints, as well as processes of the election committee in their duties and present their findings to the board next month. Uh, I motion, uh, in addition, to be, uh, this is chaired by Catherine James and two other members in good standing that are not members of the board or uh, were members of the election committee. I second. All right, the motion has been seconded. I would like to uh, record the votes for yeas. Everyone who votes yay, please raise your hand or otherwise indicate vocally. So the yes votes are Carol oh. Berger, Kristen Sankey. I'm sorry. Can we get any? I also call, count, call for the votes for nays to that motion. If you vote nay to that motion, please raise your hand or otherwise present verbally. It appears there are no votes to nay to that motion. Secretary, can you read out the motion as well as the votes? Um. I'm sorry, Chris, uh, could you repeat the motion? I can repeat the motion. There's a motion to create an elections investigation committee that will review the complaints and present their findings to the board next month. The election investigation committee will be chaired by Dr. Catherine James and two other members in good standing that are not part of the, they were not part of the elections committee or the board. And the yes votes to that motion are Carol Berger, Kristen Sankey, Krista Boer, Joy Creel, and Catherine James. 
and there are no no votes recorded. Now that those two critical motions have been presented. I'm sorry, did you say my name for that one? Yes, Joy. Okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Go ahead. So for these other motions that are need to be presented today, um, I want to allow members of the board to debate, obviously. Um, I would like to limit debate to two minutes per board member at a time. I'm the next motion is I move to transfer all documents, information, and authority for tasks to the secretary and treasurer necessary for them to meet their duties underneath the bylaws. This would include but not be limited to the transfer of possession of copies of insurance policies, contracts that the association is party to, and information necessary for submitting annual reports to the secretary. This would also include but not be limited to financial information and statements, tax returns, and access to bank documents connected to the association to the treasurer. I second the motion. The motion has been seconded. I open the motion up for debate. If you'd like to be recognized, please uh, raise your hand and I will move and I will acknowledge you to speak. I'm not seeing any uh, indications that anyone would like to comment on this motion. I agree with this motion. I mean, the secretary and the treasurer obviously need access to certain documents in order to Chair, be able Chair, to do. Would you like to speak on the matter? Sorry. Sorry. Chair recognizes Carol Bridger. I'm sorry. Um, I just want to say that I agree with this motion. Um, the treasurer hasn't to date had access to and in needed information to do her job. And um, Obviously, we need access to certain documents to be able to do our jobs. So thank you for this motion. Is there any other that would like to speak on this motion before we move to vote? Uh, Chair recognizes Kristen Sankey. Yes, I would like to say something similar. I've been on the board as treasurer for the last year and have had no access to bank account information or statements or ability to uh, do my job. So as elected, I, I agree that's necessary. Are there any other comments on this motion? All right. Then I move to a vote. I'm in the motion to transfer all documents, information, and authority for tasks to the secretary and treasurer for them to meet their duties underneath the bylaws. This would include, but not be limited to, the transfer of possession of copies of insurance policies contracts that the association is party to, and information for submitting annual reports to the secretary. This would also include, but not be limited to, financial information in statements, tax returns, and access to bank accounts connected to the association to the treasurer. I'm calling for yes votes for this motion. Please raise your hand or otherwise indicate verbally. I now call for the vote or call for the nays to this motion. Please raise your hand or otherwise indicate verbally. I'm not seeing any response to that. So, Secretary, could you call the roll as far as that vote? Yes. Um, the yes votes were Carol Berger. Kristen Sankey, Chris DeBoer, Joy Creel, Catherine James, and there were no no votes. Okay. The motion passes. The next motion, uh, once again, two minutes to, for debate. I move for the executive director and bookkeeper to have their access and signature authority over the bank accounts of the association to be removed. I second. Call for debate. 
please limit your, we'll limit your comments to two minutes. Uh, please indicate by raising your hand or um, raising your hand and I will recognize. Chair recognizes Carol Berger. Yes, I think it's best practice that um, the president and treasurer are on the bank accounts. Um, to date, we haven't had access to the bank accounts and financial information has been withheld from the board regularly, including the financial information that was requested for this meeting. Thank you. Are there any other comments on this motion? Then I will call the vote on this motion. The motion of oh, I just have a comment. Uh, Chair recognizes Catherine James. So um it would have been my preference for this to not be the scenario. But with the last night's actions of us not being able to get the financial records, the public is um has a right to it. Every every member, every dues paying member has a right. There is no right to deny, especially those who are on the board, but but just the public has the right to it. So I just because of that, um, the denial of something that we've gotten every month, um, that that is a public of best, I mean it's best practice is what we do, is we share the records. That's what helps to keep us fiscally responsible and the ownership of it. So just that action alone, unfortunately, places us in this space. That's my comment. Are there any other comments to be made? All right. So that would have to call the vote for the motion of, of removing the executive director and bookkeeper to have their access and signature authority over the bank accounts of the association to be removed and calling for the yeas to that motion. Please indicate by raising your hand or otherwise verbally stating. And I now call for the, the nay votes to that motion. Please raise your hand or otherwise verbally indicate your vote. There appears to be no nay votes. Carol, would you call a roll on that motion, as well as restating it? Yes, Chris. Um, to um, remove for the executive director and bookkeeper to have their access and signature signature authority over the accounts of the association to be removed. The yes votes are Carol Berger, Kristen Sankey, Krista Boer, Joy Creel, Catherine James. And there are no no votes. The motion passes. The next motion on the, on, the, on the agenda is: I move for the services of the executive director to be terminated with cause. This motion would require him to transfer access to all Mahaka resources, notes made during the execution of his duties and any other materials created during his duties for Mahaka to be transferred to the president within three calendar days. I second the motion. Second. No. I want to open up comments and debate on this motion. The two minute limit per comment. If anyone has comments, please raise your hand and the chair will recognize. Chair recognizes Dr. Catherine James. Same kind of comment here. This in no way is something that I wanted, would have anticipated and, and tried diligently since August to work against. There's been so many obstructions to moving from an individually led, led organization to just to get the members the opportunity to vote. It's all we wanted. It's all I wanted. 
was the members to choose who led the organization. But the October the the October the ninth email that went out that soup that tried to usurp the the board's vote, uh, you know, to invite membership to vote. That was egregious. The act was, and but still, I was hopeful that we could move forward as a working board. That we could still, that we could still move forward with with the executive director in place, you know, because of what he does bring to the table. So I was still hopeful that we could move forward with it. But there has been act after act, and last n night, to 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 tell. Terry to not send documents that is public documents is beyond inappropriate. And so it is with great dismay that I agree with this. It is absolutely not what I wanted. I think Dr. James, is there any other comment? Chair recognizes Carol Berger. I would just like to echo a similar comment that um, this is this has all been it's been it's been it's been very sad. Um, we have all we wanted. We tried so hard um, to work with the entire group to have a very good a very good election and. Um, we were roadblocked in very strange, um, time-consuming ways. Um, so that was very disappointing that instead of working together to hold a good election, um, we didn't we didn't have that. But um, we the results were clear. Um, they were landslide victories, and so to still be having um, this kind of Roadblocking is um, it's just extremely concerning and 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 it's just it's too much game playing and the stakes are high and board members do have individual responsibility and liability and um, we can't afford that kind of liability so this is a necessary action in my in my view. Thank you, Carol. Are there any other comments? Uh, I'd like to make a brief comment. Um, this is definitely not the motion that I, I, I had prepared for today. Um, you know, I wanted to look into what had been going on, why, why there had been such a pushback since the August meeting. Um, I remember in the August meeting, we initially, uh, you know, we're looking for information about things that had happened during the budget process last year and, and just for the point of doing due diligence. And since then, there has been a pattern of obstruction to the actions of the board um, at what feels like every turn. And the role of an executive director is, is to facilitate the actions of the association. It's to further the organization um, and to act on, on the priorities of the board of directors. And I think that over the years, our executive director had gotten so used to being the hand on the, on the, on the rudder, you know, driving the organization and, and steering it that, you know, I, I don't know if he was okay with being subject to a board. And this has been shown in the attempt to create an alternative election, you know, which to me was already beyond the pale. And, and that was going to lead me to be like, all right, let's let's kind of suspend his duties and, and investigate and see what we want to do. And last night when he sent the email out that he had directed Terry Mike to not respond to legitimate requests for documents by this board, that's what changed my mind on that. And so I'm sad to see that it's at this place. Um, but that's where we are. Thank you. Are there any other comments? If 
If there are no other comments, then I move to call the vote. And I ask for all the votes to be indicated by raising your hand or by verbal assent. I call for the nays to this motion. Please indicate your vote by either raising your hand on camera or by verbal assent or recognition. There appears to be no nay votes. Um, Carol, would you restate the motion and um, do roll call on votes? Yes. <clears throat> the motion is for the services of the executive director to be terminated with cause. The motion would require for him to transfer access to all Mahaka resources, notes made during the execution of his duties and any other materials created during his duties for Mahaka to the president within three calendar days. The yes votes are Carol Berger, Kristen Sankey, Chris DeBoer, Joy Creel, Catherine James, and there are no no votes. With that, the motion passes. next motion I would like to present is I move for the secretary to be empowered to find and engage the services of CPA or other financial professional to conduct a financial audit of the organization and to have the results reported to the board as soon as it is conducted. A second. We have a second. Uh, opening up comment two minutes at a time. Please raise your hand or otherwise indicate interest in speaking. Chair recognizes uh, Joy Creel. Um, as far as the outside, um, the outside uh, audit is concerned, um, I, I, I just want to say that I feel like it is extremely necessary from this point moving forward um, to make sure that, that 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 is in place for checks and balances purposes. So, um, just really want to speak for this idea of having um, a space of accountability for um, the finances and the membership of Mahaka greater, greater interest. Thank you. Thank you. So I'd like to comment briefly. Um, you know, finding a, a professional to conduct what I believe might be the first ever financial audit of the organization, um, you know, I, I think is necessary after kind of the lack of transparency that's been involved in the finances of this organization for what seems to be several years, you know, looking back at the requests, repeated requests for information and the not ready access that has been provided. And so to make sure that everything is kind of in order and to make sure that we're meeting all of our financial obligations, um, you know, I think it's, a, it's important to get an outside perspective. Um, and also so that we can go forward with the membership knowing that we are, we are taking care of that and we are being mindful of how their dues are being spent um, because that's a trust. And as a you know tax exempt 501c3, we have a responsibility also to the public in some ways of making sure that our financial situation is uh, very clear and kind of beyond reproach. And so that's why I think that this is important. Um, I yield my time. Are there any other comments? There do not appear to be any other comments, so I would like to call the vote. So on the motion for the secretary to be empowered to find and engage the services of the CPA or other financial professional to conduct a financial audit of the organization 
and have the results reported to the board as soon as it is conducted. I'd like to call for the yay votes. Please raise your hand or otherwise verbally assent. I'd also like to call for the nay votes. Uh, please raise your hand or give a verbal indicator of your nay vote now. There does not appear to be any nay votes. Um, Carol, would you restate the motion and the, state the roll call for the vote? Yes. Um, the motion was for the secretary to be empowered to find and engage the services of a CPA or other financial professional to conduct a financial audit of the organization and have the results reported to the board as soon as it is conducted. The yes votes were Krista Boer, Carol Berger, Kristen Sankey, Joy Creel, and Catherine James, and there are no no votes for this motion. next motion I would like to present is I move for all current committees and committee chair positions other than the election investigation committee um, referenced earlier in this meeting to suspend their roles and duties while an analysis of the needs of the association is conducted. I second the motion. Thank you. The motion has been seconded. I'd like to open up the motion for debate. Um, two minutes. If you'd like to be recognized, please raise your hand or otherwise uh, give me some indication you'd like to comment. I see no one looking to comment on this. So I'd like to call the vote on the motion of all current committees and committee chair positions other than the election investigation committee to suspend their roles and duties while analysis of the needs of the association is conducted. I ask for the yay votes to this motion. Please raise your hand or otherwise indicate by verbal assent. I now call for the, the nay votes to this motion. Please raise your hand or otherwise give an indication of your nay vote uh, by verbal. I see no uh, nay votes. Um, so Carol, would you restate the motion as well as um, call the roll? Yes. It was moved by um, Krista Boer and seconded by Carol Berger to um, for all current committees and committee chair positions other than the election investigation committee to suspend their roles and duties while an analysis of the needs of the association is conducted. The yes votes were Krista Boer, Carol Berger, Kristen Sankey, Joy Creel, and Catherine James, and there are no no votes for this motion. Okay. Uh, here's the motion has been passed. Uh, is there any other new business? For the board. It doesn't appear that there's any, any new business being put forward. So we'll, we will move on to the financial report. Treasurer, can uh, the chair would like to recognize the treasurer, Kristen Sankey, to give a financial report? I have no financial report as I was not given the information as requested, and it, it appears Terry is not here today. Uh, I would say I think that we need to, it's important to um, discuss the budget moving forward, and I assume that will be part of, um, as you said, kind of ass assessing the needs of the association for committees, but we will need a budget committee or um, discussion to move on that quickly. Yes. Um, and so it, that brings up a good point. Um, the budget committee that has existed, um, does anyone have the information on who is on that, who are members of that committee before it was suspended? 
the last budget committee meeting, I'm sorry. Did you recognize this, Kristen? Thank you. The last budget committee meeting that I attended was with myself, Terry, Jim, and Christy, who was president at the time. Okay. So uh, in the meantime, then it sounds like the budget committee that should meet um, sometime between this meeting and the December meeting would be uh, Kristen Sankey, Terry Mike, and the current president. Um, and we will try to uh, uh, Sorry, give me one moment. Uh, I would like to make a motion to also uh, unsuspend the budget committee um, for the purposes of those discussions so that we can have a budget meeting um, over the next month so that we can present a hopefully full budget to uh, the board, the full board as part of the next board meeting. I second that. There has been a second. Um, the motion is to unsuspend the budget committee for the purposes of creating uh, a budget to be presented at the next board meeting of the association um, or to have a report from that committee about the um, well, and so I move to amend the motion to change that language to I move to unsuspend the budget committee so that meetings can take place um, between now and the next full board meeting so that the budget committee can either present a full budget to the board or to report progress on the budget to the full board in the next meeting. Do I, I second, second Do you second the uh, motion to amend? Yes. The motion to amend has been uh, seconded. Um, can we get a, uh, can I call the vote on amending that, mo that motion? VA votes can raise their hand or reply by verbal assent. I call for any nay votes. Please raise your hand or otherwise indicate verbally that you vote nay. Carol, can you um, restate the amended motion as well as the roll call for the amending of that motion? I'm sorry, Chris, would you mind re restating the amended version? So we are amending uh, the previous motion to state that we unsuspend the activities of the budget committee so that they can meet between now and the next full board meeting to either provide a full budget uh, presentation to the board or to report their progress on um, creating a full budget to present to the board. And the yes votes for that amended motion are Krista Bower, Carol Berger, Kristen Sankey, Joy Creel, Catherine James, and there are no no votes. The motion to amend uh, appears to have passed. Now we turn to the, the motion on the floor, um, the amended motion, and I would like to open that up for any debate. I'm I'm confused. We've now moved back to the main motion because we passed the motion to amend. So now we've moved back to um, the actual main motion that we just amended. Because those are two separate processes. Kristen? So if I'm understanding correctly, we're at the motion that uh, suspended all committee and election shares from moving forward. No, so where we are uh, to recount for, for a point of order, uh, there had been a motion made to unsuspend the budget committee for the purposes of meeting to present a full budget. At which point I recognized that uh, the budget may, may not be completed at that time. And so I wanted to amend it to add, um, they would be able to 
report their progress on creating that budget <clears throat> during the next meeting. Um, so we move to amending, which requires its own motion. That uh, motion to amend was seconded, and then we voted yes on that. The amend the motion to amend was passed. So now we move back to the motion on the table, which is now the the, the amended motion that we just voted on. Does that make sense? Yes, the motion on the table now is back to the motion to unsuspend the budget committee. Got it. Mm -hmm. For the for the purposes of allowing them to meet between now and the next board meeting to either present a full budget to the board or to report their progress on um, creating that full budget. I second the motion. So call for debate. Are there any comments on that? I'm just. Chair recognizes Kristen. I just want to reiterate, I guess, what I previously said in comment for this, that we need to be able to meet to um, provide a budget as we are already several months into this fiscal year. Thank you. The chair recognizes Carol Berger. Kristen, um, I hope this isn't putting you on the spot, but from the last financial information that we received, um, can you tell us to date this fiscal year um, what our net is? Uh, I would have to look that up. Give me one second. Thank you. To clarify, oh, thank you. Uh, are you asking our net uh, revenue or income? Um, I just, last I knew we were thousands in the red and I just wondered if we had a ballpark from the last that we knew what that number is. Yes, so as of uh, September 30th, we were in the red $15,246. And we were, um, I believe we haven't received October's financial document, but as it was reported at the last board meeting, it appeared there was going to be um, in the black by about $1,500 if my memory is correct. Uh, however, that was at our board meeting, which was halfway through the month. So I'm unaware of you know, what might've changed since then. Thank you. Any other comment or discussion by the board? Okay. So then call the vote on the motion to unsuspend the budget committee to for so that they can meet between now and the next meeting for the purposes of uh, presenting a full budget to the board or reporting on their progress um, on creation of that budget. And I vote asking the yeas to raise their hands or otherwise verbally assent to that vote. I would like to call the nays. Um, if there are any nays for that vote, please raise your hand or otherwise verbally indicate your, your nay vote. It does not appear there are any nays to that vote. Uh, Carol, would you restate the motion as well as uh, call the roll on those votes? Yes, I'm sorry, Chris, could you please restate the amended motion? The motion to unsuspend the budget committee for the purposes of allowing them to meet between now and the next board meeting to present a full budget to the board or to report on their progress towards the creation of said budget. 
And the yes votes for that motion were Krista Boer, Carol Berger, Kristen Sankey, Joy Creel, Catherine James, and there were no no votes. That the motion, the motion passes. Are there is there any other uh, business or motions before the board? Chair recognizes Catherine James. Mute. In the spirit of transparency, um, I recommend that we um, that we immediately inform the membership of the actions of today in the spirit of transparency. I second that motion. Uh, was there a motion there, uh, Catherine? No? I was okay. just, it was just a recommendation. Fair enough. From that recommendation, I would like to make a motion that we let the membership know as soon as possible um, after this meeting. So there is a motion. I, I second that motion. So there is a, a motion for as soon as this as soon as this meeting ends for a uh, point of clarification. Who do we want to inform the membership? We want to make sure that's clear. Mm -hmm. I make a motion that. that I make a motion that a draft is made and approved by the um, secretary, president, and the current board, and then be um, sent out through our customer relationship management system, which is the ICRM. Um, okay. So we're first. We have to amend the motion that you that uh, Joy originally presented. So. Joy, would you make a motion to amend the previous motion and then state what your current motion is? You said I need to amend the motion? So you'd started a motion there, um, but I'd ask for some points of clarification. And now we're changing the motion in front of the board. And so we need, we have to make a motion to amend um, just to kind of keep the procedures uh, clear. Um, okay. If you, if you permit me, I can make a motion to amend. If that would, if that would be okay. That's fine. That's fine. So I make a motion to amend the previous motion before the board. That directly after this meeting adjourns, um, the secretary and uh, president will collaborate on creating a statement to go out to the membership, both through Neon as well as official Mahaka uh, channels. Uh, about the details of this meeting and kind of and what was uh, what business was conducted um, to be released at some point later today. I second that motion. So in a vote to amend uh, Joy's motion, um, can I call the votes for yay? Please raise your hand or otherwise verbally assent. I'd like to call the, the votes for nay. Please raise your hand or otherwise verbally indicate you are voting nay. There does not appear to be any. Um, Carol, can you please restate the motion, um, the motion to amend and the roll call on that vote? The motion is for the secretary and president to um, collaborate on a statement after this meeting and send out to members via NEON and official org organization channels today um, the results of this meeting. And the five yes votes were Krista Boer, Kristen Sankey, Carol Berger, Kristen. Catherine James and Joy Creel. And there were no no votes. The motion passes. Are there any other uh, motions or business before the board? The chair recognizes uh, Catherine James. I'd just like to make one statement. Um, this board is 
positioned to serve the membership well. There's a lot we can accomplish within these next, you know, these months that we have. This is an interim board, but there's a lot we can accomplish. We have a powerful intra infrastructure in place. And, 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 and so I just wanted to make that statement that if there are no obstructions and we're allowed to move forward productively with membership and the forefront, that there is so much that we can accomplish for the benefit of memberships, within, which then benefits those who membership serve. So again, as I requested in August in my calls, let, you know, allow the process to move forward productively for the benefit of the membership. Thank you, Dr. James. Uh, Chair recognizes Carol Berger. I agree with what Catherine just said, and I just wanted to add that um, this newly elected board cares very much for this organization and wants it to be wants it to thrive. And um, so thank you very much. I'd like to briefly speak um, just kind of on the, on the nature of those two comments. Um, you know, obviously today was a big day. A lot happened. And I want to recognize the gravity of that. Um, I don't think anyone here wanted things to come to the point which they have. Everybody here has almost quite literally fought to be involved and fought to make this organization the best that it can be. That's what we want. And there's a lot of work that can be done in this interim period to get this organization running um, efficiently and correctly so that we can pass this organization on to others so that this organization can continue to represent mental health counselors in the state of Michigan. And in a lot of ways, all LPCs. And I think everybody on this board sees that as their responsibility. And so, you know, I give an open invitation to members to contact me. You know, if you have questions about what, we, what we're looking to do or our priorities or anything, you know, I'm here to be responsive as well. You know, and I, I believe that would probably go for many other members of the board, and I, but I don't want to speak for them. You know, I think this organization needs to move into a place of transparency, accountability, and progress. You know, I this might sound a, a little bad, but you know, I look at the other professional organizations that operate in our state and the way they communicate with their membership and the things that they give to their members. There's no question of the value of those organizations to their members. And the thing is, I want us to be able to say that about Mahaka. I want people to go, yeah, I know exactly what I'm getting out of that. And I know that they're working for our profession. And the thing I've seen most online is, what does Mahaka even do? I know that they lobby, but what do they lobby for? You know, I know they do this and that, but what else? And the thing is, I want us to be able to answer that question. I want people to, to be aware of what we do and what we're fighting for. And, you know, we have an interim term. It's, it's from now to, to June and next year when the next elections are. And I hope that we can do a lot for this organization. And then there'll be another election and maybe there'll be a completely different set of faces here. And that's okay. My, our job is just to make sure that the organization is it primed for those potential new phases to be able to take it and run with it. Not walk, run. So I, I'll stop here because I don't want to be too preachy. I know we're running, we're running over time. So sorry about that, I apologize. I'd like to motion to uh, adjourn the meeting. I second that. Motion has been seconded. Um, votes for yay for adjourning the meeting. Are, uh, is there is there a time for public comment or anything like that? Uh, not during this meeting, but if, if you want to talk, I'm happy to engage with you after the meeting. 
Oh, uh, well, as a regional ambassador, I just want to note that I have also submitted a challenge um, that is not being recognized during this meeting. Please send it to us via email. And I have yeah. already I have already sent that. Okay. Um, I sent that to the Mahaka election email, the Mahaka sure. BI Gmail. I will um, speak with you right after the meeting, like right after the meeting. We just have to vote to adjourn. We're in the middle of a vote. I promise I will talk to you right afterwards, though, okay? Thank you. I I, I want to know that I've been... Sir, yeah, uh, we are acknowledging that we received again. You. Yes, you have. Um, I, I do recognize that you've told us that there is a challenge that we have not acknowledged, and I will look for that. And if that is the case, uh, if I can't find it, I will reach out to you personally to get the details of your challenge and add that to what the election uh, investigation committee reviews. If we and if we do find it in the email, I will send you an email to acknowledge that. So I promise you, it it will be taken into account. And I, I sent it to the email that I was directed to send it to. Okay, I will check in with the with the folks about that, and I will get back to you. I promise. That'll be one of the first things on my agenda today. I, I hope. Er, I hope thoroughly. Day. I. I I hope thoroughly. I hope thoroughly, and not just a simple email. We can open up a discussion if you'd like, but for now, we have to call this vote. Thank you, sir. Um. Bring back the, the business on the table, moving to adjourn the meeting. Uh, the motion was seconded. Can I ask for the A votes to adjourn the meeting? Please raise your hand or otherwise verbally assent. Now, if I can get, are there any nays to adjourning the meeting? Please raise your hand or otherwise verbally note that you're uh, uh, voting nay. Carol, can you call the call that and then call the roll on it and then we'll be adjourned? The yes votes for adjourning today's meeting are Krista Boer, Catherine James, Carol Berger, Kristen Sankey, and Joy Creel. All right. The motion to adjourn is passed. Thank you, everyone. I'll send out details about the next meeting uh, probably within the next week. Um, also, if there are any agenda items that you would like to be added to the meeting, please email the secretary with those agenda items. Um, and when we announce the meeting, we'll let you know the, the deadline for agenda items. Thank you.